So I'm going to show you a content section that we call a page block. It's a really versatile content type that you can use in a lot of different ways. So we're going to go through, uh, we're, in our, we're in the pages section of our back end. We're using the same page that we've been using to just add a bunch of content to. We're going to use, um, we're going to go ahead and add this new page block content type. And we're going to click add new content block. We're going to title this uh, page block. And we're going to choose the page block section here. And we're going to click create block. And now it adds it down here. I'm going to move this up towards the top just so that we don't have to refresh the page and scroll all the way down to look at it. And so here we have this page block section. And I'm going to go ahead and click edit so I can start adding some content. So with the page block, you can add multiple, uh, multiple sections within here. And so we're going to create our first one. We're going to click create new entry. And we're going to give it um, a title. We're just going to label it like, you know, one. So we just know that it's our first entry. We're going to leave this white and we're going to go ahead and we're not going to add an image just yet. We're not going to change the opacity because we don't have an image. And we're going to go ahead and leave the te text position centered. Uh, we're not going to have an entry. Uh, for the image and we're just going to put a title. So we're going to say this is a title and I'm going to drop a bunch of text in here. I'm going to delete some of this so it's not so much. And we have this little bit of text description in here. And I'm going to add a button. So the button will just be titled button. I'll make sure I put my HTTP forward slash forward slash in there. I can determine where this button goes to and I can put the page sub text in here and I'll show you where that shows up. And I'm going to click create entry. So now let's go to our home page and let's refresh it. We're going to go back up towards the top and you're going to see our page block right here. Very, very basic. It's title, text, it's got a button and it's got a subtext right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's add some more options to it. So we're going to create a new one. And we're going to say, um, we're going to title this number two. And I'm going to add an image. So I want my, I want my text to be legible on top of that image. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to add the image. And it's going to be this image right here. And you can see it's got a lot of grayscale in there. So if I just had, uh, if I have a white background, it's going to put dark text over it. So I might want to make it a dark background. And let me show you what I do. I'm going to change this to like uh, a black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the opacity so that black shows through the image. And so when my, when my text lands on it, it's actually going to be a little bit more legible. So I'm going to leave it centered. No, in fact, I'm going to change this so the text is to the right. And I'm going to add a title. Title goes here. And I'm going to add some text. Let me grab some new lorem ipsum text here. Grab this text. Paste it right in there. I'm not going to add a button. And I'm going to click Create Entry. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stack these. Uh, so that they're not side by side, I'm going to go to the block settings and I'm going to turn this down to one column. So each entry is going to stack on top of the other instead of being side by side. And I'm going to click save. And I'm going to go into uh, back to home and refresh it. And you're going to see our uh, first entry here and our second entry with the building here. And you'll notice this is centered text. This is text to the right. So now what I want to do is I want to go back to these entries and I want to um, add a third one. So this is going to be my third. And I'm going to change the color of the background here. And we'll just pick like a, we'll pick something like this. Make it just a color. I'm not going to add a background image. I'm going to turn the uh, move the text to the uh, to the left and I'm going to this time add an entry image so I'm going to upload 
an image and I'm just going to pick um, this 800 by 800 person. I'll give this a title and a little bit of a description. I won't add a button and I won't add subtext and I'll create entry. And then I'm going to refresh. So it added the title, the text, and the image. So you can see if I wanted to add an image to this background, I can do that as well. So I could take like an image like this and put it back here and then have another image that overlays. So it's a super versatile uh, option that you have here. And since we have them stacked, I just want to show you what happens if you created a few different columns. So I'm going to go to block settings and I'm going to turn that up to three. So we have three columns instead of one column save it and I'm going to refresh and you're going to see that they're all going to be stacked next to each other now in columns. So one, two, three. And you can see that that we would definitely have to make some adjustments if we were going to do that to our content. But if you wanted to have three rows of content that maybe just look like this, it would all fit in nicely with the button and you could add that in. So I just wanted to show you that option. As always, you have your uploaded items. You can come in here and you can edit them uh, for SEO reasons. You can change the titles and the descriptions. And then you can come in here and in the context, you can add a title, some description. Uh, you can change the, the background color. You can add buttons like we do in all the other sections and click Save. And when we come in here and we refresh it, you're going to see that it adds our title text and then our three entries right here. And that's it.